Hi everybody, Amy here from Amy's Planner and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm here today to share with you my monthly setup for September. Now, I'm going to be using stuff from the Halloween Boo kit. Um, not the Halloween stuff, obviously, but um, there are other bits and pieces that I want to use. So I want to use some of these um, single... Um, tech boxes. I want to try and use the glitter headers because I don't use them and I've just grabbed this out so I can use the glitter headers and these little headers here. So this is what I was thinking. Oh, I also have some plain date dots as well because I'll need those. Um, this is what I was thinking. I'm going to try and cover the top of each of these boxes with a one of these glitter headers. So um, I wanted to put a purple one for September. I don't know, where are my tweezers? But I don't quite know how wide they are. If I should just like go straight up against the edge. Or if I should go, no. Anyway, I'm just going to play around with this for a minute. Um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the far edge of the box and then I'm going to use, where did they go, these date dots here. So it's going to bulk the page up a bit, which I'm a bit worried about. So I haven't done my monthly review yet, so it's going to make that difficult to write on. But other than that, like I'm not not a huge issue I am a bit more worried about this side um, but I suppose I'll get over it like it's not the end of the world if it's a bit bulky um, anyway so um, my plan is um, to so purple for the first of the month and then a whole row of pink um, like this Maybe this isn't going to work. I don't know. And yeah, so a whole row of pink. Um, here. Okay, that, that does look, it looks good. Like, I think it's okay. So... Um, I had to try and come up with a way that would use, that would cover all of the days because there are 28 of the glitter headers on a sheet, like on one of these sheets, and there are 30 days in the month, so I had to try and find a couple of extras. So where are my date dots? Two, three... If I put them here, like just like that, and try and get them even across the page, because that's really not going to happen, as we all know. Um, I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, I, I like that. I don't know what it's going to look like when I've done all of them. But it's something different, and that's what I was going for, something a bit different. Maybe if I make this a little bit more appealing, I'll use it more than I used last month. So I'll just give you a flick back to last month's um, monthly calendar, which I really didn't use. <laughs> like it's, yeah, I didn't really use it. So I thought if I make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more decorative, I might use it a bit more. Um, so then I'm going to go... I like a green next um yes I might go green next so a whole row of green and then a whole row of purple and then a whole row of black and then I've got three pink ones left so I thought I'd do pink at the end um
All right. So there it is. I actually really like that. I didn't know if I was going to really like it. I am a little bit disappointed that I ran out of pink. So like the purples there. But then again, it is the first of the month. So it's allowed to be a bit different. Um, but no, I'm really, I'm actually really, really happy with that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now I have these, um, these uh, headers here. And my plan was... Um, uh, how do I put it? What was I going to do? I was going to put, um, instead of having personal projects and work projects, I don't want to split it up that way. I just want to have important and get it done. So hopefully these fit. That one does. As does that one. I know they're not square to the page, but that's all right. Um, and then... Um, I'm just using one sticker out of this women, Womankind book because I saw it the other day and I thought, that's perfect. Um, where's it gone? I'm using this Let's Stay In sticker and use the purple one because uh, we are still under lockdown for a while. So places to go. Nah, let's stay in. And I think the purple looks really good with that. Um... So, let's get to some actual planning stuff. I'm going to put some bills in first, um, and I'm going to try and line up the colours with the row that I'm in. So, um, except for the first one, which is a purple one. Um, in the first week, I have two... Oh, I want to use the solid ones now that I've pulled up the two dot dotted ones. Um, I have two bills in the first week. Although I've actually already paid one of them, but that's okay. Um, so my driver's license renewal is due on the 1st. Now, it is exactly 10 years since I got my license. Yeah. 10 years. That's $82.80. Like seriously, 10 years to the day. That's pretty scary, actually. I've been driving for 10 years, and I have a gas bill on Friday, and that is uh, 161.67. My gas bill's gone up, and it's annoying me. Um, then, in the green line, we have mortgage on the 12th, electricity on the 10th. And I have payday there as well, so that's okay. So Thursday is electricity, and that is one, one, six, six, five. Uh, my mortgage. Now I'm not telling you how much my mortgage is because I don't know. I just pay every month i just put money in there so i'm always ahead and then my tax comes through off and put a little bit extra on so i actually don't know how much my mortgage payments are <laughs> feels really um uh it feels really awkward not to know how much my mortgage is now that i've said that out loud i should probably look that up at some point um the week of the 21st is my phone bill i don't know what day it is exactly but it comes in that week like it comes strange i'm just gonna put it on the monday and that'll be 200. And then on the 30th, my VIT registration is due. So it's a lot of bills this month. VIT reg, and that is uh, a little bit more because I've got to get a police check. So 154.20. Um, in there, I've also got house insurance, car insurance, my union fees, but they're all direct deposits. So I actually. They just come out when they come out and there's always money there for them. Okay. Um, the 18th is the last day of term three. So that's going to go, I wonder if I can fit that underneath. Yep. Last day of term three. I think I have a stick for that, but I'm not using it. Um, and I 
say that and I thought like I had all these things to put in and now I can't remember any of them. Uh, I can't find the stickers that I was looking for. Here we go. Um, so I have two paydays this month. And I realized my voice just went really funny. So payday and payday. Um, so that must make this week eight, week nine and week 10. I know it doesn't look pretty, but it works to do it that way. So I know which week I'm in. Um, okay. So I was experimenting with some of these, um, these like single tick boxes and I've just put them down here to cover the bit where it says due dates. And I know I was like, I'm not going to put my social media stuff in here. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to put my videos in here. So I'm not going to include my um, YouTube, not my YouTube, my Instagram stuff um, because um, uh, I do those based on what mood I'm in on the day, basically. But I am going to put my videos in um, because I know when they're going out and I know what's going in them to some extent. I kind of know what's going in them. Um, so I thought I'm going to use as many of these little dots as possible um, because they're so sweet and I do like them. And they get a good workout in my work planner, but they don't necessarily get a great workout in my other planners. So, um, so yes, um, I'm just trying to work out when everything's going up. I'm trying to post on a Monday and a Wednesday. I'm trying to have enough videos that I can do that. Um, so we'll see. There's going to be an extra one this week, this first week of the month, I think, um, which I might do on the weekend now that I'm like poking around at it. Um, yes, I think that this video, the setup video might come out on on Saturday or one it'll come out on Wednesday or Saturday so you'll see it on a Wednesday or a Saturday um and I need a green one and I think that'll be my uh, monthly reflection I need something for the 23rd I don't know what that's gonna be and I'll need something for the 30th I'll have some um videos for that one I think I don't know I'm not I'm not convinced <laughs> that I really know what I'm doing but we'll see um, so let's write some of these in so this one's a plan with me because they come out on a Monday and then um, this one will be my one month reflection in that I last month set a goal on the 15th, let me find it and I'll show you, that I would try and journal every day. Here it is. Um, and I said that I would film a vi video on the 15th and I'll film it and have it up for the 16th. Um, this one can be my reflection. Um, hopefully I have some hauls for this one hopefully. Um, and then this one can be, I've got a Beehaven video and this one can be the monthly spread. Okay. So I'm really liking these individual check boxes. I actually feel like I've really used this month now. <laughs> um, so I really like to see, or at least you tell me if you can't show me how you use these monthly spreads in your planner. It doesn't matter which planner you use. They've all got a monthly spread of some sort and I never know how to use mine. So as I've shown you, like I just, I don't really use them. I just kind of um, have them here. I, I, I decorate them, but I don't really decorate them and they don't look great. 
I really like this one so far. Whether or not I use it is a different story. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, feedback is amazing. All feedback is a gift. And I'd really appreciate knowing what you think about these videos, what you think about the videos that I make or the planning that I do and anything you'd like to see or you'd like me to improve on because I'm happy to listen to that and go, yes, okay, I can do that. I'd like to improve. Improvement is the name of the game. Um, if you like these stickers, all of these stickers are from Behaven Designs, except for this one, which is from Happy Planner. But all of these stickers are from Behaven Designs. And if you like their stuff, I've linked it all down below. I am one of the PRBs. Um, so you can put my name in the box at the checkout to get my freebie, which is so sweet. Um, there's also... Um, in the description box below, links to the Facebook group where there's a discount code. Hiccups. Um, so yes, thank you so much. You can find me over on Instagram at, at Amy's Planner. Um, I'd love you see. I'd love to see you across there as well. Anyway, have a lovely day. Bye.